Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today we are doing a sandwich of regional history, specifically the Horseshoe Sandwich from Springfield, Illinois. Now supposedly this was developed at the Leland Hotel in 1928. Um, I am following a recipe from whatscookingamerica.net, uh, which is a site that's been around for a long time. It may not match the one that you do or the one that you love, but this one I think is probably closest to the one that was from 1928. Now, a lot of the recipes today call for a hamburger patty on it, but originally it was a horseshoe shaped piece of ham that was cut from the bone. Now, I don't have cut from the bone ham, but I do have ham, so I'm going to go with ham. And uh, also, the recipe was developed in 1928 when Prohibition was happening, so it would have been near beer that he used. So, I'm using a Pilsner that has about 4.8% ABV, so it's not super high in alcohol to kind of get somewhat close. Oh, and it's a, an open face sandwich, just know that going into it. First thing we got to do, toast some bread. While the bread's toasting, we melt some butter. Now we add in flour and whole milk. Next, we're to add in cayenne pepper, powdered mustard, Worcestershire sauce, and chopped up English cheese. Now we just uh, melt this all together until it gets uh, creamy. Okay, now that the cheese is all melted, we add in our beer. Okay, now on our pieces of toast, we put slices of thick ham, cover it in our cheese sauce, Top that with french fries. That is a lot of food. <laughs> All right, let's give this horseshoe sandwich a go. Of course it's delicious. Smoky ham, beer cheese, french fries. This is great. It's a lot. I do want to plus it up with one thing though. I figure this needs some sort of acidity to kind of cut through all this richness. And why not bust out the Frank's Red Hot, which was created in the 1920s. Okay, let's give this horseshoe sandwich plus up with Frank's Red Hot a go. Mm -hmm. One of the reasons I like Frank's Red Hot so much is because it's not just a vinegary bite. There's a, a mouthfeel to it and there's garlic in it. And it plays really well with everything in that uh, beast of a sandwich. All right, so the original horseshoe sandwich, open-faced clearly, um, Man, that was tasty. That was really, that was really quite tasty. I think probably about nine, plussed up with uh, Frank's Red Hot, nine and a half, nine and three quarters almost. Like that is just delicious. In no way, shape or form is this actually good for me, but it is delicious. Um, I probably won't make this again unless it's for friends and family and a special occasion. Uh, I will finish that over time. <laughs> because that's a lot of food. Oh man, delicious food though. All right, see you tomorrow.